What up, YouTube? It's your boy Connor Gary back on the G Money Zero Phone channel. Welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, this is gonna be a quick video, um, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, before I get into the video, um, first just want to give a few shout outs. Uh, shout out to my boy IBS365 and shout out to my boy Titus1. Both of y'all, both of you guys, you know you're good homies of mine. Um, can't wait to see what both of you are going to be coming out with next, especially you IBS. I really want to hear how Kickspo went. Um, I will be heading back to Texas um, really shortly, so uh, this is one of the last videos I'm going to be filming at my house. So. Um, I haven't filmed all of those in the background. Yeah, all of God, those. Uh, sorry, um, there's a lot of shoes right there piled up. As you can see, I have to get a review on all those. Uh, that video should be coming out Wednesday or Thursday, I think. Um, I'll be sending out that video, so stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, let's get into it. Topic of this video this is going to be a sneaker discussion. Um, I've gotten a few messages on. Uh, on my YouTube, uh, asking me, you know, just how I get, how I am able to buy the kicks I am. Um, if anyone's wondering how I get my kicks, I have a job over the summer, and I really, I work forty hours, five days a week. I work, I work eight hour days every day of the week, and that's how I get the money to pay for my shoes. Um, I've also been asked quite a few times, though. Um, how do I get my shoes? Meaning, how am I able to purchase and acquire some of my shoes, um, some of my rare shoes? So I'm just going to do a quick video right now um, discussing how I get some of my shoes. Um, number one, number one tool I have for buying shoes is very simple. eBay. Just simply the eBay app on my iPad, uh, eBay app on my phone, and the eBay on my computer that is simply how I get my shoes um, a lot of times um, eBay is a very dangerous place and I've, I think I've discussed it before on a previous video but it's also a very good place especially for sneakers like Nike SB's that I'm not usually able to get when I'm in Texas um, I'm gonna have to be able to get them online and in some cases I'm not able to get them online or they're an older release that I really want eBay is the place to go um, eBay is probably my number one tool um, for getting sneakers online. Um, just a few things for people who are new to the shoe game that if they watch this video about eBay. Um, I, I mentioned before it's a dangerous place. Why am I saying that? Because it is. Um, if you don't know what you're looking for and you don't know what to look for, you're going to get got meaning you're going to purchase a shoe that may or may not be a replica for some people that's not a problem for others it is um, for me I would be very upset if I purchased a replica or fake shoe that's just me um, that's just how I like them I like my shoes to be authentic so you gotta know what you're doing on eBay um, you have to know what you're looking for on a shoe if something's not right on a shoe if something doesn't look right to you on a shoe then there's no reason to buy it. If this seller has a feedback that I would say is less than a hundred people have given him feedback, I ain't buying the shoe. If you have less than a hundred feedback, more often than not, I'm not going to buy a shoe. Also, check the pictures. I, there are many people who say, oh man, I can't believe I bought this shoe. It's fake, blah, 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 blah. Well, the person only put up one picture of the shoe. If the person's only putting up one picture or they're putting up stock pictures, I don't care if they put up a hundred stock pictures. If they're stock pictures, that are stock pictures. I never trust somebody when they're saying, oh, I bought the shoe and I'm going to get them in hand on this and this and this date and they're selling the shoe. No, I want the shoe in hand. I want your pictures taken. I want multiple photographs of the shoe. That's just me. That's just how I... That's just how I like my shoe. That, but that's just me. Um, again, you can change it up, but um, that is how I. That's what I look for. I look for multiple pictures. I look for that feedback. That's how I know I'm getting the shoe I want. That, but again, that's just me. Um, I know there are other things other people look for um, in terms of searches on you there um i keep it very basic there's very few shoes that i have saved searches for in terms of nike sb i have a safe search for nike sb size 10 and a half and 11s and i have that already put into the ebay save that to my email ebay profile so then when i'm on like my ipad app and i'll show you it right now hopefully it'll come up so let me just pull up my ebay app for a second 
when I click the search button, so it'll bring up a big search page, and I don't think it's going to be able to capture it very well. It is. You'll see on the right there, it says Nike SB, and also says Reebok Question. I know it's a little blurry. I apologize for that. But I have those two searches saved. I have the Reebok Question search saved for 10 half. So, and I put it as newly listed. I like to see what's newly listed items, and then I can watch and follow the auctions um, that way. So that's just me. Th those are a couple of tips for um, eBay. Preferably, though, I would love to get shoes in the store. Um, most of my shoes, I would say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of the nine shoes back there are all purchased in store. Now, I do have a purchase coming in the upcoming week. Um, I think it's going to be there next week that you are all going to see that was a shoe that I purchased online. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but oh my god, I cannot wait to do that review. Those shoes are going to be crazy. Um, but most of my shoes, I like to purchase in store. Reason why, I like to be able to chop it up and I like to be able to talk to the people in store. Um, a lot, especially like the places like Cord, I always say support your local skate shops. You really should. Um, support your local stores like that I really love being able to support the local shops um, like core um, that have good people that have really good people really good employees great customer service and great products um, I love being able to just chop it up and uh, talk with them and you know just being able to um, you know they'll hook they hooked me up with um, two of the shoes actually back there I wasn't there I was on Vegas last weekend uh, made some money there so I was able to get two of my shoes and they were they were kind enough to put outside both of them um, for me and I was able to go in store and pick them up for retail and I was very happy they're always doing good service so you know being able to just being able to chop it up talk to people communicate with the staff um, for some of these local shops you know that's a great thing and it's a great service um, some shops like House of Hoops, there's a bad reputation. Um, from my experience, House of Hoops employees aren't the nicest, or the Foot Locker employees aren't the nicest or the friendliest employees in the world. Um, Chic Shoes has always been a place that I've always had good customer service, so I support their shop. And Core is another place. So when I need skate shoes, I'm going to Core. When I need other shoes, I'm going to Chic. That's just how I do things. That that's just that is basically how I get my shoes. Um, either in store and online now for other sites um, I know there's a lot of sites out there that you can purchase shoes on finish line Foot Locker. I'm not usually big on purchasing from the big sites like the big sites East Bay Foot Locker finish line I don't really purchase from them um, I'm not happy with a lot of their times their customer service online if there's a problem and I don't like dealing with the hassle of those big releases also again if you know me I'm not a huge Jordan Ed so I don't really mess with those um, in terms of other online sites I'm a huge fan of bait.com bait I love their clothing lines uh, you'll be seeing me reviewing a bunch of their stuff throughout the year um, YCMC uh, your city my city that's a great site to get shoes off of pickyourshoes.com PYS.com that's another great site uh, sites like that that, those are the sites I like to purchase from. Otherwise, I, I'm not really big on purchasing online. I'm mostly an eBay or in-store guy. That's my thing. And, you know, I've overpaid for shoes on eBay when I first started because when I got into it and I had some money from my job that I had saved up and I started getting into shoes, you know, I overpaid for a few shoes. I'll gladly admit that but you know what as it becomes savvier and savvier you learn how to negotiate people down you know how to talk people down you know how to get the steals you know how to swoop in and snipe at the end uh there's a shoe where is it right there that i'm going to be talking about extensively um that was a huge steal for me i cannot wait to review that shoe either but um you know that's just my, how i buy my shoes that's how i get my shoes um if people are saying oh you're just some spoiled rich kid my parents have never paid for any of my shoes all my shoes since i started middle school have been my own um even when i didn't have a job i would wear the same pair i wore the same pair of shoes all of middle school and I only got three pairs of shoes for high school I got them my freshman year with my own money at the outlet mall and I kept them through the whole of high school I don't buy I buy my own shoes I've worked I work to buy my own shoes that's just how I've been so that's just why I'm able the reason why I'm able to get my shoes I work my ass off so uh, you know if you want to learn how to get good money for shoes, get yourself a job 
and work hard. Working hard pays off. Trust me. All of that, except for a couple of them, which I won with my own hard work at the tables, that's all hard work right there. That is all the hours I put into work. So to me, that is just... Every, all my dreams coming true by me being able to purchase all those and own all those. So that's with that, I'm just going to end this video. Thank you all for watching. Again, shout out to my boy Titus1 and shout out to my boy IBS365. Shout out to you, homies. And again, thank you all for watching your boy Connor Garrity on the GMoney041 channel. Stay tuned for the review of all those shoes and the last of the South Bay Soul Searching. That's going to be coming up this week. And yeah, again. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Like this video, comment on the video, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And yeah, with that, I'm going to hit y'all with the peace.